What's going on, Internet? It is your boy, Eric Banholtz, back again with another awesome episode from Beard Brand. And today, I'm going to give you some tips and advice on how to handle those beard cowlicks and really how to get those hairs under control. For those who aren't familiar with cowlicks or are genetically gifted and they don't have to deal with this issue, a beard cowlick is essentially um, beard hair not growing exactly the direction that it should be growing. I've actually seen some really intense uh, spirals come into play right here for a lot of guys. And sometimes it's a little um, more subtle and sometimes it's pretty dynamic like hairs are literally sh shooting all different directions. Now, your hair is your hair. Your beard is your beard. You have what you have. You're not going to be able to pull the hair out and then put it back in facing the right direction. So if you have a cowlick or if you have a spiral or if you have a wave, then you're always going to have it. So like a lot of my advice on this channel, you've got to embrace who you are. Embrace the, you know, the patchiness of your beard or embrace the color of your beard or embrace the cowlick because those are the things that really make it unique. Now all hope is not lost when it comes to beard cowlicks because there are some things that you can do. Really though, if you plan on keeping a stubble beard or really a beard like this length or shorter, you don't have a lot of options because my solution is you've got to grow your beard out. And once you grow your beard out, you get a little bit of length. Now you can train your beard, like similar to how you can part your hair and then your hair finds that part very easily. You can kind of do the same thing with a beard. That's not a permanent solution. So like when you wash your hair, you wash your face or you know, you do what you need to do, it kind of like um, sets it back to the natural state. Whereas once you get that brush going, you can start to train it again. And you have that repetitive motion, it's going to help out. Now the length is the key because with that length, you can start to bring a little bit of weight to that hair and start to let gravity do what gravity is going to do. All right, my favorite tools when it comes to taming your beard are going to be one, your boar's bristle brush. There's just something about it. It really gets your hair straight, aligned, clean looking. It's great. It's a fantastic thing for unruly unru beards. And then the second thing is your hair dryer. And your hair dryer has this incredible ability to allow your hairs to forget the natural state and then move into a new state. So during the styling process, when you have a little bit longer beard, use your hair dryer to blow the hair into the direction that you want. And you're going to be able to really overcome a lot of those cowlicks. Now, a beard cowlick is going to be the same as a hair cowlick. A solution is always to try to play into your cowlick rather than trying to shape it, mold it and change it and put it into a box. Because if you can find, like I've got a cowlick here, find a hairstyle that works with a cowlick, then you should also try to find a beard style that works with your particular beard cowlicks. So um, kind of do a little bit of research and, and try to find other guys out there who may be dealing with cowlick issues and how their beards look as they grow out longer or they keep it shorter. Personally, I think the super spiral beards are way cool when it just, it's like wild, it's, it's like nothing out there. So if you've got one of those, if you've got some real unruly hair, that's cool, man, because not everyone has that and you've got it. So own it and rock it and be proud of it. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, cheers, keep on growing. Now that you've made it to the end of the video, go ahead and treat yourself to some fine beard brand products over on our shop. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to do that. And finally, Keep on watching some more of our awesome videos.